Alrighty folks, hello and welcome to Richmond Raceway. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. Thank you very much for tuning in, however you're watching. This is the Dynasty Racing League Cup Series, the Molnar Automotive Cup Series. We've got a 200 lap race here. This is race number two of the round of 16 of the playoffs. I'm currently sitting ninth with, I think, a nine-point cushion over the cut line. Pretty decent shape. Got a guest spotter tonight, Gerald Campbell, who you may recognize from the uh, SSCA Ad Pro Challenger Series. So, uh, Gerald, if you want to say good, uh, hello to the people, go ahead. Hello, people. We're, we're ready for a good night of racing, that's for sure. So, appreciate you guys tuning in to us, and uh, we'll see if we can go out here, have a good night, and see what we can pull out of it. All righty. We got one lap to green going to put it in fourth and clutch it just to save a little bit of fuel just in case if we happen to get a really 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 long green flag run to start Go ahead, buddy. I want every advantage that I can get long Greg. did we ever check to see what a fuel run was uh, no but we've got pretty reliable fuel calculations from my pit board and the Q2 app on stream looks like it's just over a hundred laps all right well, let's so, see if we can get there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it goes green the whole way, I have no problem stopping at lap 100. All right, here we go. Let's tighten up. Get ready. We are going green. Clear up above. Oh, oh, he's spinning down, go up high. We got a car up above. Ah. Uh, I'll take that. I'm thinking no pit. Keep it down, please. Uh, single car spin. Good save, whoever that was. Keeping it out on the fence. It'd be a one pit stop race if it goes green the whole way, I think. I don't think anyone would come in before then. Yeah, that'd be wishful thinking. I mean, actually, if it were to go long green, you might see someone try to split it into thirds. Yeah, Brophy, I had a bad qualifying lap. Just completely, I, I was too slow going into turn one, I think, and then I completely, I spun the tires coming off four. Yeah, I think four is what killed it. <laughs> four, 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 uh, four was the nail in the coffin for sure. Uh, John got a little heavy on the brakes, and uh, Buck tail in the car around. I kept it out of the fence, good save. Green, they just took off as soon as they, hey, they could. That was a, that was a jump. Mm -hmm. Be prepared for restart games all night. <laughs> Man, uh, the guys behind you weren't, uh, weren't trying too hard, so I think I think you could just focus out in front of you. I think the rest of those guys are just trying to make it a long race. G. Benson's got a question. What is it, brother? And Warren, by the way, I saw the thing. If you want a shirt, just PM me, man. You, you, you've dumped so much into this channel, I'll be more than happy to send you a shirt. <laughs> All right. Just a little eye pace in here, nothing nothing to it but to do it. It's a Tuesday night. Got Chris James in front of me here running the uh, car sponsored by what my... Uh, where's your dirt... <laughs> I need to send you a dirt sprint car scheme. Did you, did you send me a request for what you wanted it to look like? You need... Send, send me... Uh, or uh, pictures in Discord of what you want it to look like, and I'll get it done. Um, I did do a dirt sprint car scheme, so I need to make that the the think a remote one public. <laughs> Emperor J, anyone else kind of bothered by Dunkin' Donuts dropping the donuts part of their name? I didn't even know that they did that, but. I don't know. I mean, did, did they pull uh, an IHOP move? <laughs> did that? Well, yeah. Or, you know, when Sugar Pops changed their name to Just Pops, and and the, the, it, it's not a 
uncommon thing. I gotta I gotta upload that and make it public, G Benson. So uh, thank you for the reminder. I'll try to get that done tonight. I had someone else who wanted a non-wing sprint uh, paint scheme too, so I gotta get that done. All right. So well, I we think got inside again. Yeah, thirteenth. I'll take it. We just we want to get up in front of these next two or three guys, and we'll be in really good shape. Corey, thanks for the host. Much appreciated. All right, here we go. That was a good restart. Yeah, you're all clear. Oh, they're hit. Uh, go ahead and slow down. You're clear up above. All right, he saved it. No clear. That was a nice save. Yeah, I was impressed by that. Inside. You're all clear. Remind me under the next caution that I need to unmute all teams. I think it's still muted. All right. Uh, good save, really, really in the race. I be running. I'm trying to stay in front of you. I'm good, just riding right now. Ten four. Kind of like you said, no need to push the issue on tires early in a run. I'll let them run theirs off and then start picking them off one by one. Yeah, you got no pressure behind you. They're fighting on their own, so you're in a good bubble right now. Exactly. It's a 200 lap race. The most important thing at this point in the race is to keep the car free of damage. We'll let Kate go up there and lead all the laps. So Eric I'm not worried about, but the next three in front of him, I haven't raced around that much this year. Or when I have, it's yeah, been contact. They're taking a very wide route, so their tires are going to be coming off here in about 10 more laps. So the way you're running right now is perfect. Just make sure you're just keeping up eggshell underneath that throttle coming out. Yeah, 10 four. You're running off from the guys behind you. Not actually trying to pass him, just making him nervous. Well, if you got to run and he messes up, make sure to bounce. Yeah, 10 4. Because. Yeah, it, it, with that 21 car, he's quick, so if we can get him behind us, that would be good. But, like I said, right now I'm more just taking a peek just to get into his head. I'm not actually making a serious attempt right now. Waiting for him to open the door for me on the 30 car. Yeah, every lap is back in getting more and more switchy, so it's, it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. 22, I'm not super worried about. Not, I'm not completely confident in his ability to finish the race. Let's just put it that way. 
Simcor. Uh, Wellborn's already getting lapped. I'll get him going into one. Still there. Wheel to wheel. Still there. All clear, all clear. <laughs> Figured he'd get tired of that. He knows he doesn't need to ruin his tires any more than he already has. Yeah, it's a mental battle. Pretty much, like, I'd, I'd been right in his rearview mirror for the past five laps. I figured he was sick of that for a while. Let's just keep running this pace, and we'll, we'll be faster about five or six of those guys in front of you. 10-4. That's the first time our back end stepped out. Yeah, maybe just a little lighter on the gas coming out of four. I think maybe it's starting to get a little slicker. Yep. Definitely is. We're definitely reeling the 30 back in. I don't even need to look at the relative to see that. He's visibly getting larger. Yeah, make sure not to overdrive it. We're doing good at our pace. Yep. Outside. By the Outside. way, just for your information, I think you probably figured it out by now, but the cars with the red spoiler there. side skirt front bumper of the playoff drivers. Yeah, I figured it. They're off there to the next one. Yep, next guy's a lapper. And we're up into the top ten. for him to not cut down in front of me like that. I just don't get it. Like, he's slow enough to get lapped in the first 10 laps, and then all of a sudden he wants to race lead lap cars. Yeah, 10-4. There, there's a reason. <laughs> yep. There's a reason why he's back there. But, you know, like I said, don't overdrive it. We've got a good uh, strategy here with our tires. We're, we're a lot better off than a lot of these guys. Yeah, 10-4. Richmond is definitely one of those tracks that can go long green, too. Oh yeah, like I said, they, they go in stages. You get those bunched up costumes, and then you'll have these stretched out greens. So they may look like they're far away, but it's only one slip up, and then they'll lose a second. 10-4. Missed my entry a little bit there, but that's actually not a bad line for one and two at this point in the run. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're 30 laps in, so you can start maneuvering a little bit. These guys have a lot less tire than uh, than you have right now, so you can you can work it a little bit. Yeah, 10-4. I think I'm just gonna, you know, I'll put the pressure on them as I can, I'm, but just kind of want to keep with this strategy, continue to take care of them. I would suggest turn four, though, we still stay on the bottom. Yeah, 10-4. That's where, that's where you're really gaining the time on these guys. They, they drift up to the wall too quick. Last couple of laps, it looks like I've held about even with the 98, but the 22 is coming back to both of us. Right down on that line. That's exactly how we want to do it. Now the 22 went a little bit quicker, and the 98's coming back. I feel like where I'm beating these guys, though, is consistently. Like, they'll get a lap in here or there that's quicker than me, but over the long haul, I'm laying sure. down more consistent times. Mainly that's due to their line. They're not staying on the exact line every single time. They're moving around a lot. But it's not like they're moving. It doesn't look like they're moving around searching. It looks like they're moving around because they're making mistakes. Yeah, coming out of... Coming out of the turn where uh, the 22 seems to be having his issues. Ooh. That was a little bit of nothing. That's fine. <laughs> Just making sure you're still awake. I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> Good, so am I. All right. Yeah, my button's on my steering wheel to talk, and I'm turning it right along with you. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Maybe I'm like that guy in the passenger seat that has the steering wheel that does nothing but you still want to turn it. Right, yeah. Or the guy that leans when they're playing Mario Kart because it makes no, you that's faster. All me. Yep. Oh, I do that in racing. You gotta lean when you're in racing. It's that force feedback. You got to fight against it. Yeah, we're coming up on lap 40, so this is a good long run. That four. Looks like the 58's got a little more speed than us. He's the guy that got spun from that first caution. Yeah, I'll let you know where he's at on it. He is looking. Yeah. But uh, just keep running your line. Make him work for it. Keep looking on the inside. 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 Side, even with you. Let's there. see how this, let's see if the top sides come in here. This will be the real test for it. Let's see if it makes them have to use their tires. He probably got tires the last time. Yeah, he probably got tires after that spin. I'll let him, I'll yeah. let him up. Yeah, he may have three or four laps of pressure tires in you right now. Uh, probably only one, because he spun going into turn one, and that was really caution, so they're a half-lap pressure, if anything. He may have just managed them a little bit better than I did. He's also pretty quick, so I'm not worried about that right now. Let's just see if we can just uh, follow him up there, then. Yeah, 10-4. We'll let him open the door for me a little bit. Really got that thing hooked up. Oh, please keep racing side by side. loose right there. That was a moment. Well, 
Yeah, he's not running that different of a line than you. He's doing about the same where he just he hugs that line and comes out lower than a lot of the other guys. So he's not much different than what we're doing right now. Yeah, 10-4. We're taking a little bit lower line than him into turn one. Not much, though. Yep, just about Not a half car. you would think. Okay. I wouldn't go up too much higher than you are doing right now. It'll just get you out of group. Not, not beneficial right now. And four. Hey, there's the yellow. Dawson's out. Yep. Looks like a lap or hit the wall. Right. Yep. 66. Emotes train, I like it. Hell yeah, yeah. how you guys doing in chat? I'm trying to be that guy that's the thing on the outside. I just know it's very critical to have the lead. Alright. That was a good long run. Gotta get stopped here. The long run, clean, no damage on the car, and we're already one uh, one fourth of the way to the fruit this thing, so not bad. Yep, pretty good. <laughs> all right. These all were in front of you, so you'll be pitting before any of them. Yeah, ten four. I see my pit board already. I've got it sided. There drops. Right in my backs. Take a little drink of water. I know the feeling, G. Benson. I sympathize with you, I do. All right. Take the short way around. Don't go out to the wall. 10-4. I think we did gain one spot there. The uh, 98 doesn't look like he's in front of us anymore. It doesn't look like anyone's behind you right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the guys behind me might have had some problems, but I think we're going to restart 10th. Yeah, I got a black fly cleared. Oh, uh, boy. Whoa. Maybe we... No, 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 I, th I yeah. think we're 10th. 12. Uh, 11. So inside again. I don't now, the, the 96 was scored in 8th uh, when he went into the pit, so I think we're 10th. Uh, do you get a point for leading? Uh, there are bonus points for leading the lap, so if we can strategize a way to do that, that would not be a bad thing. Well, I wish you would have known that. That would have been probably our best time to do that is early on in the run. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we could have stayed out and got shuffled to the back. He's trying to uh, restart. Yeah, but I don't really want to do that. that that's no. one point versus you're ahead of 10 other guys. Yeah, no, track position's more important right now because remember, the the most important thing is that we keep the car clean and don't get involved in a wreck. So picking up a extra point for leading the lap is not super important yep. right now. Yeah, and these guys can run a run a line at least up here. I don't want to put ourselves in that position. Yeah, exactly. Now, if there are a few more of them lapped where we wouldn't be giving up too much, then we might consider it. Well, maybe if that was a longer green flag and they put more guys a lap down, but they it just wasn't enough. Yeah, 10-4. Looks like my tires are slightly worse on the right front than these guys. I had an 87 right front. They're talking about 89s and 90s. Yeah, everybody watch out. 82 is Oculus is frozen. He's trying to drive the car around to the pit so he can exit session and restart. You know, I don't I don't know if that really makes a big difference because, I mean, at Indianapolis when we were racing, I had more worn tires than a lot of those guys, and for some reason I was faster. So yeah. just that small amount, I don't think it makes a big difference. Yep. But still within range. Yeah, just something to keep in mind. I mean, the most important thing is being fast, so that's why you, you were just faster than folks at Indy. All right, I'm going to try to clear you as quickly as I can to the bottom if you want to go down there. Yeah, definitely. You know, if we can make it down, that'd be good. But uh, I can hang it on the high side, too. All right. Green, green, green. Thank you. 
Yeah, they jumped the start quite a bit. Hit clear inside. So clear. Clear. Good gap behind you. And four. You're in a bubble right now. Up in front of us uh, for the top five. Yeah, I see that. Just keep running our line. We don't need to overdrive our. He's getting loose. Keep I see going, it. keep going. Don't stop. Yeah, Joseph's got good car save. control. Joseph's got real good car control. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> he joined the league too late to make the playoffs, but he won. I think two races in the regular season. Oh, they're sliding. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three wide. Clear. Uh, outside. All clear. Sorry, Jerzo, I did the same thing you did the last one. All clear. Yep, thank you. That was a good call. No problem. Yeah. We're in ninth now. seems like a good one to try to pace ourselves off of right now. If we can run like he's running, that would be good. Yeah, he hasn't used up anything just as of yet. Caden's really hanging tough on the outside up there for the lead. There's a good battle going on for first. No delusions of being able to keep up with those front three. I might be able to do it if I practiced enough, but I have, I didn't put in the work this week for Richmond to be able yeah, to do it. Yeah, this isn't the yeah, this isn't the, this isn't the time to try to learn how to do that. Time to learn how to do our own line. Yep. Twelve's been into the wall a couple times. Don't 
get race blind. In loose. You're clear. Inside. Inside. Good recovery. You're on the inside of the 12. Still there. Still there. Still Hot. there. That's it, Mike. That is my favorite way to make Keep a working. pass at Richmond right there. Those are the easy ones. Still there. Oh, yeah. Spoke too soon. I should have him this time, though. Yeah, you got loose. Yep. Start going down low, though. Yeah, he's letting you have it. Oh, he's inside. Clear. He's looking. You're all clear. You're all clear. Woo! All right, we're at seventh. Now I can come down and let him and Joseph. Bye. Yep. Go back to working on the uh, 68 here. Running your line, don't worry about him. There's no way for him to get around you otherwise. Out. Yep, he's back. Yep, be back. Back again. Now keep that run going. You're, you're starting to gap the guy behind you a little bit. I think I've got the brake rise right where I need it because I, I just felt where I had to make a slight counter steer going in. If I would have had it any more to the rear, that would have been problematic. Yeah, everyone's back in, starting to wiggle a little bit here. We're starting to get to that point of the run. Yep. Which means that we're probably going to get a caution soon from one of the lappers losing it. As around lap 25, what adjustments did you make so I can make note of that and let you know on 25? Um, no adjustments. Unless you're saying that my line, I'm just doing a slightly higher entry into one. All right, yeah, stuff like that, I'll let you know when we get close. If we fit again, it lets you know around lap 25 what you did. Okay. Uh, the 58 and the 68 just both overdrove one right there. Yeah, this is where people are going to start focusing on the guys in front of them. Yep. close to your back bumper, all clear. He, uh, he overdrove that one a little bit. Yeah, well, I, I did too, and I think he got fixated on me overdriving it and missed his breaking point, doing what I was doing. Well, you got but, your distance from him. Yep. Because I have the better, I think, I think he's probably running default or lower brake buys. So, I felt it again where I would have skidded if my brake bias was a default there. But 
but where we did has saved it twice now. second off of what we can run on a hot lap now. Which honestly isn't that bad, to be honest with you, for, for this many laps. It's yeah. still pretty consistent. Springer looks like he's gotten his rhythm back. And three and four, he's running a higher groove, but it's not making him any time. Where it's making him time is he's going a lot lower entry into turns one. Okay. We'll try to do that too then. I can make that adjustment. not gaining any or losing any, but he turns one, he's, he's loose. Where's all his uh, momentum coming from? Okay. Meanwhile, we've closed up on the 68. We're still all clear. Cover off that inside better going into one. We'll gap them now. I think I just figured out what he's doing. Yeah, it looks like you, you started gaining on the guy in front of you going into turn one. Yeah, get a little bit slower early and then off the throttle so that I can roll it better. I think that was the advice you told me in practice too. Looking on the outside. Outside. Clear. Be at the wall. Alright. So just keep going. You don't do that. Keep going, keep going. You can counter on this guy. All right, we're going underneath them. You might want to follow them in there. O2, looking. All clear. Don't let the O2 underneath him. He's yeah, there. It's too late. There. There you when I can, he's still there. Wheel to wheel. 
still there. Still there. Off there. Off there. Good. Good. Looking. Off there. Off there. Don't get so many looks into the inside. Might want to go down low now. Off there. Get back to your bottom room, right? Yeah, 10 four. Got a little bit of a gap. Good racing. These two guys are swapping it back and forth and they're getting loose every time coming out of turn. Block that bottom. That O2 can't make that outside work. But we might be able to. Inside, inside, all clear. Hang on, Anthony. Off there. Off there. Oh. Yeah, it's past the wall up there. I gotta adjust my uh, table clamp on the wheel under my next yellow. It's come a little bit loose. Uh, things Richmond will do to you. Yep. This is why I need to get my rig built and get it hard mounted. Outside, outside, clear. Outside, outside, spinning. Still there, still there, still there, still there. Still there, wheel to wheel. Still there. You gotta give up the position so that way you don't lose the tires. You might want to. Yep. Like I said, this late in the run, the outside's where I want to be when I'm side by side with someone. It's just getting there is the hard part. 10-4. Clear. All clear. Yeah, honestly, I don't think he would have gotten around you if you weren't having to battle the guy in front of you. Possibly. Inside, inside, inside. I don't know how he made that stick. He drove it in hard. Yep. Still there. Still there. 
still there. Get loose. All clear, all clear. Be battling for someone now. Focus on your line, don't overdrive it. Yeah, 10 4. By the way, if we want to split this in two pieces, that comes up in like 15 laps. It's just a question of do we think that there will be a caution in the next 25 or not. Uh, find me a space where you can get away from these guys and give me a bubble and I'll go around the track and I'll see how crowded it is. If I see large groupings of cars, we may want to wait it, but it's pretty spaced out. But we can often take that chance. Yeah, 10-4. I mean, it's, it's a gamble either way. But I feel like once someone in the top 10 drops, everyone's going to play follow the leader. So if we can be the first one to drop, that might be an advantage to us. There's still a lot of hard racing out there. Good for them. We're going around the track right now, I'm looking. I'm seeing guys going down pit road. In front of us is pitted yet. Yeah, there's a couple of the guys behind you have. Yeah, I think those guys might be too far behind to make a ton of difference though. I've, been, I've noticed who the numbers are coming off the road, and it's not anyone that we're battling with. I think they came too early. They'll give it up on the end of the run. Let's wait just a little bit. We got the 61 inside. Yep, he's inside. on tires. Got another guy with the tires on the inside. Coming. There you got another one with tires behind you, I believe. Yeah, 10 4. Let's see if we can let this 61 open up. So looking out the outside, outside, outside. Out clear. Yeah. All right, we've got a little bit of a gap here now. No real pressure out back. O2's in a worse spot on the track right now. <laughs> got two fresh yeah, sets of fresh we're, tires we're. and a worn set. We're in the biggest uh, clump of them right now. Okay. That doesn't surprise me. This is a pretty big, we got half the field right here. Outside, outside, still there, outside. Outside, outside, clear, clear, they're all clear. 98 looking inside. Looking. Inside. Inside. He's coming up. Ooh. That was close. Yep. It's one of the things I love about lead racing is you learn how guys race and you learn how hard you can push them with certain dudes. All right, Crew Chief, what do you think? Well, have you seen any of your other competitors? Where are they running right now? One guy in front of me has pitted. Well, let's pit on lap, uh, well, let's just say around two more laps. 10 more, let's do it. Because it has spaced out just a little bit now. Okay. Let's just come next lap then. All right, next lap. Go ahead and let them know. Wave them off. 89 pitting.
get us close down to the bottom. 68 pit. Going down pit road, let me know where those tires were. Yeah, 10 4. 78 right front. Woo. Uh, 89 right rear. Stay down low. Alright, I just saw a huge stand go by. You'll be clear after this guy. 10 4. Oh, guy getting loose behind you. Oh, oh he's no. in the wall. Stay uh, green, stay green. It. Yep. He saved it, so nice. he's good. He just he smacked that wall hard. All right. Looks like we only dropped down to 13th. So worst case scenario right now is not terrible. We just need to go yeah, get this. Yeah, but you need, to, you need to get that leader. Get yourself only one lap down. Yeah, 10-4. Oh, oh no. Darn it. Wait, no, nope, no, nope. we're still no, we're still green. Dude, so, so, it's still green, but he is completely stuck on there. Do they have admin caution? They do. Uh, he reset, he reset. John, sorry, John, go ahead, go ahead. Bidding, 837 bidding. Alright. Yeah, these, everyone's sitting now. Yep, like I said, once, once the floodgates opened, it was going to open for everyone. That sucks for Hustad, man, he was running second. Get, get back to your bottom line. Get your groove running. Yeah, ten four. Gotta make your uh, time right now on these guys. Sliding the right front a little bit much. I need to back it off a little bit. Yeah, we gotta save these tires. So yes, we need to go fast, but we can't. Uh, watch yeah. out, he's getting loose in front of him. I see him. All clear. Yeah, we gotta go about five laps longer on this set than we did on the last one. This should hopefully put us in front of that hornet nest that we were in. Yeah, 10-4. Yeah, there's the 80, uh, that one that we were battling for a while. Yeah, the 68 was one that we were battling. So, we can just stay with him yeah. and try to get back to his bumper. That would be good. There's he only five cars on the left right now. Okay. They'll be pitting in about 23 laps is about the longest they can go, so we'll be sweating bullets for the next 20 or so. Yeah, 23 laps a second slower. There'll be a lap down almost by the time they go down pit road. Yeah, 10-4. Like I said, it's, it's a gamble either way. The, the main thing is, is that you either have to commit, you got to commit all the way one way or the other. Either you go early or you run it dry. Yeah, we can't hesitate too much on these guys. Schwartz, did you call something out? This is for position on the 96. Lucky I didn't wreck you, do you pay attention? Say so. You're all clear. Yeah, I don't know. He's not required to call a pitch stop. It's not the point. So are we one lap down right now? If we get the leader, are we back on the lead lap? We're one lap. There is one other guy or two other guys one lap down in front of you. Okay. Uh, but no, only one now. So people are unlapping themselves. So you're the next uh, being lucky dog spot if the caution comes out. Yeah, 10 4. I, I've got eyes on the leader right now, so I can see where I need to get to. And if I can get to the 68, that's the lucky dog spot. And it's a battle for position with him either way, so. 
There's only one real guy behind you that's keeping up with speed and gaining on you, and that's going to be the one that's been battling us all night. The O2? Yep, I see him on the relative. All right, leader to pit yeah, road. got about maybe five, five laps of pressure tires from you. Okay, 10-4. That's good to know. He's two seconds back. We'll just try to manage that gap. If he catches us, he catches us. Yep, you're on only lap now. Yep, yeah, the leader just went down there. So that pretty much eliminates the 12 from battling with us. He'll be so far back that he won't be contending. I think we were eighth before the pit stop cycle started and we're gonna be in seventh now that it runs through, maybe even sixth. Actually, yeah, I think sixth. Fifth, if we can get by Harmon. Yeah, we're getting there. Yep, we just gotta work this lap traffic a little bit better than he is. Inside, inside. You mean outside? Outside. You know, I was just spotting there for a while. I just started watching the race. It was a good race, so, yeah, I'll get back to spotting again. Yeah, this is a fun league. I enjoy it. Outside, outside, off clear. All right, and we got a good run off four there, too. Oh, yeah, it's just you and him right now. 10-4. Me and him in the battle for fifth place. I would love a top five. Yeah, you got four lap cars between you and the O2, so he is completely bogged down right now. That's perfect. Yeah, we caught those guys pretty well. Yeah, he's, he's just now getting past two of them. And uh, they're getting loose in front of him. He's having to check up a lot. Music to my ears. Twenty-one in front of us is for position, right? That's the next guy for position. Yeah, correct. Yeah, okay. there's only uh, nine car nine cars on the lead lap right now. Are we gaining on the twenty-one? Tell me, what are my uh, lap times compared to his? He's about maybe a tenth faster. Okay. Mike. Got a lot of race left to go. We still got 60 laps left. Uh, correction, you're you're about you're about the same or a little bit quicker than him. So yeah, keep this up. You're doing good. And four. Yeah, I think he I think he leapfrogged us because he pulled an undercut. So he should have older tires than we do. Yeah, no, you're doing good. The uh, O2 has cleared himself from traffic and is now starting to reel you in just a little. 10-4, yeah, I see he's now 1.8 back on the relative. If this goes green the yeah, rest of the way. Back there. I'll let you know when he's coming. You don't need to look behind you. Yeah. There will be a few laps before he gets to him, so you just got to concentrate on your line and getting this guy. 10-4. If this goes green the whole way, he'll probably catch us, but we'll see. Yeah, but you always have those guys that will overdo it trying to catch up to the guy in front of him, so we'll see what he does. 10-4. Like I said, he, he couldn't get around you unless uh, you had trouble getting around the guy in front of you. That was the only way he got foul yet. So if we get by this guy and we have some open track, I don't see how he can get around us. 10-4. We're about to get some help for some more lap cars potentially, so that might be where we make our move. 21's definitely slower than us. Yeah, you're starting to roll. He was only a tenth now, he's multiple tenths, so you are getting him. Well, he's got a lapper that's going underneath him right now. I wonder if something happened to him. He might have gotten the wall.
dead or his tires just fell off the cliff. But the 82 should not be passing the 21. Yeah, maybe he did have an issue. I didn't see. He seems to have gathered it up a little bit. Yeah, but he's really slow. <laughs> okay. 66 is Hagen with him. He's got a problem. Your gap between you and the O2 is uh, fairly consistent, but he is getting passed for position. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, the 58's on him. Okay. Thanks, 66. Thanks, Aaron. No problem. I don't know about you, Gerald, but I got a sweat worked up here. Well, I tell you what, you're getting these guys. We're having a good, that's a decent night for Richmond. I don't normally get clean races like this. This is pretty good. That's why I like league races. <laughs> I think our best time to pass uh, this guy in front of you is going to be right around the middle of uh, turns three and four. That's where he really takes it out wide. And four. That's good intel. Yeah, don't push the issue too much coming out of the two. That's where you just you'll get it loose. So we'll just focus on three and four. And four. Oh, that was scary. I just had a freight rate pickup. We're all right. We're still good. Oh yeah, still good. All right, Anthony, I mean, go low. O2 did get past. We do have a lapper between you and the uh, the newcomer. Okay. Jonathan Swartz. Yeah. And he's been really fast all race. I don't know how many more laps he stayed out on those tires than we did. out again big time. Yeah, yeah, he did. No problem. Good roll. Look in there. Outside. Outside. Still there. Yeah, the 58 looking to your outside. Yeah, 10 more. Outside still, wheel to wheel. Still outside, rear the wheel, still there, three wide, three wide, take it low, take it low, inside, looking, inside, in the middle, you're good, clear inside, clear outside, all clear. Inside, three wide, clear outside, clear inside. 82 finally bailed out of that. <laughs> that was smart. Yeah. Well, we didn't go anywhere. Lost one game to one. Yep. Luckily for us, that uh, doesn't look like fires made a huge amount of difference. It made a little. Oh, he's going to lose. Get loose, check up, check up. Uh, inside, outside, outside. Goodness me. Outside. outside, or two outside. Outside still, wheel to wheel. Man, that O2 is getting lucky with us. Yep. It's all right. Outside still. I mean, every spot matters, but a top 10 tonight is going to be mission accomplished. Thank you. Yeah, that second took our nose right off. You're all clear. 58 might have cooked the tires a little bit. 
Yeah, I don't know what happened to him there, but that, yeah, that'll definitely heat him up for a few laps. Tires will be older tires in a few laps, if you know what I mean. Uh, he stayed out one of the longest, so he does have the freshness of the tires around him. The heck is Caden doing coming back on the track right now? I don't know what that's all about. Caden's got the freshest tires now, though. I don't know why he pitted it. Seven guys on the lead lap right now. Well, that's us. <laughs> How far back is the leader? Or, I'm sorry, we're in sixth. Not far. We're 20 seconds back from the leader right now. Okay, yeah. He's the leader's got a 12 second lead. I actually see him on my relative now. He's starting to lose all his tire advantage, so no worries back there. Yep. Like I said, they're going to be older tires before too long. I don't understand the mindset behind some of these guys two stopping this final run. Not one over when he second drop off. Oh, it's just. They're not going to make those that time back in 30 laps. They won't even get back no. to where they were. Actually, yeah, no, no way. Even even at a second a lap, you make back 30 seconds. You lose way more than 30 seconds pitting. Yeah, leader's about two tenths faster than you right now. Ten four. Oh, we got 30 laps to go, so let's just uh, complete this run. Yep. It's not overdrive and turn. Fixate on uh, what we have to do here. Yeah, 10-4. We got an opportunity for a top five if we pass one of these three. We can get a podium if we get them all. <laughs> one at a time, Tiger. One at a time. Yeah. Been a little bit quicker than the 68, I think, this whole run, so we might be able to get him. The other two have fresher tires, but that's probably that advantage is probably gone at this point. Sorry. 
the leader is uh, about to pass the guy behind me right now. Yep, I see him. Oh, there's an opportunity. Yep. Up there. Switch them. That's the idea. That's why I like making my moves in three and four. You get two chances. We are the wheel. Still there. Not clear. Leader looking on the inside. Yep. Inside. Leader inside. We're not going to fight him too hard for Up it. There. Try we'll to see if he opens follow. the door. Yeah. Got it just in time too, maybe. We gotta keep the fender no, on him. No, he kept it going. Ah the tires of this hold, it's just Off so there, hard to there. make it stick Four on the outside. inside. I really want to be on the outside. Yeah, we get what we can get right now. Yeah, 10-4. 22 uh, hit the wall behind you, so there's a big gap between you and anyone behind you right now. Yep. Twenty to go. Man, Burroughs has a nice cushion. <laughs> I don't know where second is, but it's nowhere close. No, he's, uh, <laughs> he's got about half a track or more advantage right now. Yep, this is how their uh, Grand National Series ended, ended up being last night, too. There was one guy that just left the field, and it went green the whole way. About lapped him. We do have some room, it is the end of the race. You can try a couple different grooves. We're not seeming to catch the guy right now with what we're doing. And four. Just make sure it doesn't end up costing you. Yeah. doing like it was the last run, ducking in early. That seemed to help last time. Yeah, 10 four. Going into one earlier, three and four, I think you just need to leave that alone. It's loose. Oh yeah, that gained you a little bit there. Yep. Lost a little bit on exit though, so it ended up being about a push, I think. I do see improvement though. Yep. We just need to get back to pressure and him, and he might overdrive a corner and give us a gift again. 
We gotta take it if we get it this time, bro. Yeah, keep that up. You're hitting them a lot now. Ten four. on my part. Yeah, you'll you'll be coming to about twelve to go, so we can burn these tires up. Ten four. We'll just throw the kitchen sink at them and see what happens. Like we're running a little bit different line, but it's not different time-wise. We're basically running identical lap times right now. Although I might have gained a tenth that time, actually. about a second away from lapping the whole field. It's hilarious. By the way, that leader, I think he's like 15. Oh, that's not depressing at all. Right? If, if he... Keep up that turn, turn one and two. That You're gaining on him a lot on that. Keep that up. Yeah, 10-4. I mean, if he gets the opportunities, he's clearly got the talent to race on Sundays. Just a question oh, of yeah. getting the chance. Let's get this guy. He's looking in his mirror now. That's what I wanted. Oh, look, and we got Caden on that short pit strategy behind us. He's not going to get back to where he was, but he might get us. He's got monster fresh tires. Yeah, he's looking outside. He's outside. 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 All clear. Four. There you go, teammate. Open the door for me. Not quite enough. We don't need any help. We can get them. Got them on five to go. Bye. These tires are just flat cooked. We got a lap car coming in front, so maybe he'll play a little factor. Could be. be there in case he makes a mistake. Yeah. I lost about so a tenth we, uh, of a second. Lap down, so yeah, this is the white flag. One lap. Take seven. Yeah. That's right, a good, good run. Job. Good job, driver. Mission accomplished. Woo, thank you. Good spot, man. That was fun.
Good race, guys. A lot of fun. Yeah, that was a good run. Clean, man. I don't, that, that, your car is clean. That's it. That was the idea. <laughs> messed myself off when I pit it the second time. Yeah, put it under the hauler. Just send it to the next track now. Yeah, 10-4. Uh, just a reminder, top five, please stay connected to the track for post-race interview. Uh, great win, Anthony. Uh, good run, guys. Uh, two cautions for 10 laps. Uh, can't ask for any better than that. Some uh, some pretty good battles up there. So My uh, you guys have a great night. We'll see you next week. <laughs> My arms are tired after that one. I really did work up a sweat. Nice one, Anthony. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Warren, thank you for the biddies, brother. Appreciate that immensely. So let's do a change one. Uh, top three plus wave you stat. Please stay connected to the track. You're fighting someone. Boy, we're not doing top five. Just relaying what the broadcaster sent me. So Thank you, Corey. What is that? That means no, you can disconnect, Caden. Good night. Top three, Wade Houston and uh, David Wellborn. All right, let's go Did do the uh, Chrome Horn recap here. How'd you guys enjoy that? That was pretty fun for me. That was a heck of a run. All right. So let's see. Good stuff. Thank you, man, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I would have been quicker if I could have practiced more, I think. But, uh, Hentai Gundam, thank you. Thank you. Glad you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> really glad you guys enjoyed it. We'll go through the incident recap here. The Chrome Horn Recap. Presented by Streamlamps John Theodore Merch. Exclamation mark merch in chat. Get merch. <laughs> Caden, I don't know what you were thinking with that strategy, brother. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I still haven't gotten clarity. I don't think we're running the Robo, though. Yeah, no, that's why I like running this league. They do uh, they do good stuff. So, yeah. Chrome Horn Recap presented by the Merch Shop. Buy my merch. That's all it is. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put the merch link in the chat. In the yeah, Shepard in the straight stock, no braking. 100% flat out. You might need to lift a little bit as the tires heat up, but uh, yeah, definitely at the start you can run out. Oh man, the 60s. That's two weeks in a row the 66s have bad luck. Whew! Not a lot of cautions, but there was definitely some contact. All right, Corey, thanks for stopping by, brother. Appreciate you. Corey has no life 13. If you guys uh, haven't followed him yet, you should. He's a uh, primarily does dirt oval, Australian, just good guy. Taught me just about everything I know about running dirt, which is not, uh, don't take that as a statement on like his teaching skills being bad. He's very good and teaching people how to run dirt. I was terrible before he got hold of me. Do I have a sticker of my logo? I don't yet, but I'll put one up if you want one. I don't know if they do stickers or not. But I should definitely get that. Hayden in the other Cory Bush car, the old school look, Ford Fusion. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. I should totally... Uh, you know, I think if you go through the Cafe Press shop, you can get it. I'll get you the Cafe Press link. I need to see if the merch store has stickers. I don't think the Streamlabs merch store has them, but I'll look again. I do like the new look for a Bush car, though. We were right in the thick of it for a lot of, a lot of good racing tonight. I didn't touch anyone or the wall, I think, all night. 
So that's actually bonus points. I got a 0x, which is a bonus point in this league as well. I think it's two points, actually. Burroughs. I don't know what happened to Houston. We're going to find out eventually here, though, as we go through this. There's Jonathan Schwartz. All these incidents are just little wall scrapes. <laughs> man, Schwartz was really getting it. He ended up second, though. Good on him, man. He was quick. Just underscores the need of practice. I really did think that I'm going to practice rich before I could be even quicker. Oh, that'd be awesome if they got an in-car on you and showed the sticker. Oh, Harmon hit him as he entered the pits? Wow. That ain't good. That explains why where Harmon got all the damage from, too. I noticed Harmon's front end was really crinkled. That's probably the only reason I was able to run him down. We were so lucky a couple times with the caution. Yeah, not a bad night. Starting spot for seven without a single instant. Green flag run like it was. It's good. Good job. Yeah, that turned out all I'm, right. I'm looking at the guys that who finished in front of us where they were in practice time. And to run so closely and, and keep up with them just as well. So one lap doesn't mean anything. No, totally. Yeah, I just I needed more practice like I've been doing for, uh, for Kansas. I've been practicing Kansas every night, except for last night and tonight. But I'm getting back on that tomorrow. I'll be running it again. Think I got something to worry about for Kansas uh, on Thursday? I hope so. It's not. <laughs> it's not this Thursday, though. No, that's next Wednesday. Oh yeah, yeah, next. next no, I mean Ger Gerald. It's Thursday. <laughs> Is it next Thursday? For you, it's Thursday. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, that last, that late wreck put me in a little bit of a points hole, so it really underscored the need for I need, I need to get on my, get up on the wheel in Kansas, and get after it. Well, you do what you did tonight. You're in pretty good shape. I mean, you're, you're man, that is a tough points battle for for, uh, for that lead. But uh, I know I you'll be alright. No, uh, that, that I love that Challenger series, man. And there's just something about the B car that I really like too. Yeah, I like the car. It feels more underneath you. It feels like you can actually use a run or something like that. It makes sense actually. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, I'm what 29 points ahead of the cutoff line. I still don't feel uh, safe. So, that's probably the best of how strong drivers in that league are. Yeah, because I mean. You know, like, Bonwell missed last week. He could go up there and hang a win. Davis could hang a win at any time. And if I get, you know, so, yeah, you're you're not safe even with that advantage because a couple guys get a win, your advantage over the cut line disappears. Yep, that's, that's for sure. And I think it's uh, right now, as it stands, what, like a fourth car battle for the final transfer spot. It's all separated by, like, two points. Yeah, it's really close. Yeah, I think Newell and I are tied at like three back of the cut line. Oh my goodness, how was there not a caution? I'm seeing so much snuff. Uh-oh, here we go. Houston coming to pit road, the 68 gets him and boom. That right there is why you key the radio and call out that you're entering pit road, even if there's no league rule about it. And now you see why I kept on going, ooh, oh my god. Oh yeah, no, I know. There was a lot of stuff. Slam the wall. I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be a cost. Nope, nothing. 
They just lost the flag somewhere on the track. Yeah. But yeah, somehow they kept it straight, and you know this league does not throw cautions for mercy. They only throw it if they need to. Oh my goodness, the 22. <laughs> the 35. How did he? How? <laughs> how did he keep it straight enough to not bring out a caution? Oh, and he almost took out Burroughs when he came down the track. <laughs> Thanks, Warren. You have a good one, brother. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for the biddies, as usual. Man, alive, we had some good battle in there, though. That was just good, fun, short track racing. That's why I love Richmond. Yeah, you get about one good one of these, and about three bad ones, so I will take a good night for one of these. Yeah. Well, I guess it's also the advantage of league racing over the official stuff. Yeah, I didn't see too many people go too far over there. Yeah. No, it's, it's pretty good. Oh, wow. Hugh, Hugh Stan made it back out only to get hit by the 55. That's crazy. Uh, Shepard 37 one I, I, it's been so long since I've run uh, Charlotte in the street stock, I have no idea what's a good lap. It's been three years since I've done those. Honestly, Charlotte and the street stock is just a, a Talladega run. It doesn't matter what you do by yourself. Yeah, just mat the throttle and keep it low. In the race, though, the tires will heat up too much, so you won't be able to do that. Oh, yeah. It's, to it's completely different from USA. Now, it, what's going to happen, though, is in the race, you're probably going to get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, first, Rick, first street stock race at Charlotte, you might as well just uh, yeah. bring your favorite paint scheme because you're going to get wrecked. <laughs> that's a real good way of putting it. All right, I think we're at the end there. That's, that's Caden wrecking it after the line. And we'll close out, as we usually do, on Mr. Anthony Burroughs with the donuts. Woo! All righty. I will take seven. Yeah, like I said, starting 15th and coming up to seventh, that's a pretty good night. Yeah, Charles, I like USA a lot. That's a great track. Makes me very sad that uh, it's gone. But uh, it's another one of the things that's great about the iRacing service is that they, uh, you know, you got an opportunity to preserve those old tracks, which is cool. All right, replay saved. I'll hop back in after this and go get my uh, screen cap for this video. But we'll pull up the results here. All righty. So congrats to Anthony Burroughs on the win. Very well, very good race run by him. Um, Jonathan Schwartz, Chad Presnell are both playoff drivers. They finished in the top three. Joseph in fourth, Caden in fifth are not playoff drivers. And then Thomas in sixth is. I got seventh, beat some of the playoff guys. I think that I gave myself a pretty good cushion. Only two drivers finished on the lead lap in that one. That was crazy. So uh, thank you guys for watching if you made it all the way to the end. <laughs> yeah, Shepard, that's what Rookie Street Stocks is like. That's why I tell you, go watch that uh, the Surviving Rookies Street Stock, um, Surviving Rookies tutorial. That's how it is. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. But if you did like it, click the like button, hit subscribe. Ring the notification bell, then head over to twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore and uh, click the button to uh, follow. Uh, Gerald, you got anything? How many did there? You got anything you wanted to say in closing on that one? Uh, just uh, if you guys want to have good fun racing, just uh, watch Theodore. He knows how to do it. So <laughs> anything else, you guys, just uh, appreciate you guys watching us. It's fun uh, to be a part of it. So, yeah, other than that, good job, John. He deserved it.
Thanks, man. Thank you for spouting. You did a great job. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much. Peace out.